Welcome to the Strategic Growth Experts Podcast, formerly the Millionaire Life Coaching Podcast. Uh, I wanted to provide this audio program to you where I speak on living inspired. It's really important for me to share this information with everybody because what I do as a, as a business consultant, as a coach, uh, helping people build their business, grow their business, stay inspired, and really do work that's meaningful and, and impactful in the world, helping people grow and reach their potential, get to the next level in all these areas of their life. It's really important that I help you get where you need to go. So enjoy the first episode of Strategic Growth Experts. I'm your host, Brandon Tarocco. I want to talk to you about living inspired. What is inspiration? Why would you want to live inspired? Well, there's a difference between motivation and inspiration, and inspiration is what keeps you motivated. Motivation requires additional factors, and you require other things to keep you motivated. Inspiration is a source of divine understanding, a source of epiphany that arises from within the individual, which gives you a clarity in understanding what drives you, what's your purpose, what inspires you. And that's why inspiration is, is so much more important than motivation. Motivation can occur negatively. It can occur positively. It can occur by outside force. Um, so inspiration in terms of utilizing language for high achieving, high successful, uh, for successful high achievers, uh, it's important to designate the difference or to, to get the distinction of the difference between motivation and inspiration. Inspiration keeps you motiv- motiv- inspiration keeps you motivated from the inside. Now, why is that important? Because you have the ability to create anything you want. You have the ability to create your future. And so if you're inspired, you're going to create a future that's in line more so with your values and with what you're desiring to create. And you have a higher probability of being successful because your inspiration is driving your creation, and that creation is going to cause inspiration in someone else. And the reason that it works is because the human being is a receptacle. You receive information. When you receive information from someone who's inspired, that inspiration creates you. That inspiration speaks to you on a deeper level, and it draws inspiration out of the other person. Now, why is that important? Because there's 7 billion people on the planet. What's important in life? Well, what's truly important is giving back and providing value and helping other people reach their full potential because everybody has unlimited potential within them. Now, it's the potential to be inspired and to live inspired is a seed. It's a seed that, you know, people have many different seeds of inspiration planted within them, and not all of them have sprouted. And the purpose of understanding inspiration, understanding the source of inspiration in your life is so that you can become a high achieving individual. You want to become a high achiever because you want results. You want results in your business. You want results in your life. The purpose is that you would have an internal motivation based on something that is positive and it is truly the source of creation. I believe that inspiration is the source of creation. It's why we're here. You know, we have to we have the ability to create and you can create something great or you can unconsciously create something not so great. So in my other programs, I'll talk about inspiration and creation from the aspect of thought, unconscious thought and conscious thought and controlling the the programs that run, you you know, that come out of habit that we've developed over time through our experiences in life and, that's a whole different subject entirely, but when you, when you talk about inspiration, when you're really clear of what you're thinking and what you want to create, inspiration is the best motivator because it's authentic. It's 100% real. It's not, there's nothing other than a revelation or an epiphany or a divine understanding of what is important and what is good. And you, and a, a human being can use that to create something that has a massive impact on on millions of people. And if you want to be successful, you have to serve greater numbers of people, ever-increasing numbers of people. So if you want to be successful, you've got to serve a lot of people, 
and you have to provide value. You have to provide something that creates value in their life that they can use to achieve results. And I believe that the success that comes out of that creation is far superior to any other form of motivation and a lot of times more superior than most types of education. You might, you might be educated on a certain subject, but you're not, you, it doesn't mean you're going to be inspired by it. You might be inspired by it, and education is excellent. It's very important. But the inspiration that comes from the inside of, the, of you, of who you are, of an individual, that inspiration is a unique gift and should be shared with the world. The reason most people are not successful is because they're not inspired. You need to be inspired. There's, you can open your eyes and look around you, and, and if you're truly inspired or if you're an inspiring person, you can be inspired by everything. Everything that exists outside of us is incredible. It's, it, it's absolutely amazing how, how life on earth exists today and the abundance and the opportunities that we live within. It's incredible. We should be so grateful, and yet... You know, we find many people are not happy in their current situation. They're not happy with right now. The source of inspiration is in the power of now. It's in, it's in this very moment. And the, the more you shut out the distraction of what's not inspiring, the more you can tune into that inspiration that will motivate you to do something great. And it's not about doing something great for yourself, but it's about doing something great for other people and helping the world and helping people in the world find a path, find the way that's unique to them that allows them to share their gift and, and impact everyone else in a positive way. It's important to stay inspired because when you hit those points in life or in your business where things aren't happening, not everything is going to happen at once. Einstein said the purpose or the reason that time exists, chronology exists, it's so that everything doesn't happen at once. You may already have a feeling of, so you, you, you may have had those times in life where you felt something was going to happen, and eventually at some point in your life it did happen, or something happened in your life, and then you thought about, you, you experienced that in a dream, or you thought about that as a possibility in your life. Those are divinely aligned moments in your life. And it's important to understand that you're not going to be inspired 100% of the time. You may be at a flat point. You may be bored. You may hit a, a time of day, just finished everything, uh, you know, a bunch of deals came through, whatever. You may have had a high peak in the day, and now you're at a low. Well, first of all, you have to understand and acknowledge that it's okay for you to be that way. It's okay for you to not feel inspired because you have to understand that inspiration is not a, you know, your life is like a wellspring. There's a, there's a spring of life that exists within you. It's called the Holy Spirit, the, the, the divine light, God, universe, whatever you want to call it. That distinction arises within language, and, you know, there's billions of people across the planet who have an agreement upon what that means and what that is. But the point is that you're not feeling inspired or you're feeling bored or there's, you know, there's not enough activity in this moment. Even though you may have just finished with a lot of work or something exciting may have happened, you know, you have to understand that inspiration is not free. You have to consciously choose to listen for ways to be inspired. It doesn't, you have to actively seek it. And so how do you do that? The main way to do that is by having a positive mental attitude by having a clearing in your mind, not being preoccupied in your thoughts with judgments in the current moment, you know, judging what's happening or what's not happening or judging how things occur to you in this particular point in time or day. You have to be free from the expectation that it, that inspiration or something should be happening a certain way. You have to free yourself from from that expectation. It's a, those are lies. Those don't actually exist. It's your, it's your mind waiting to hear something and waiting to experience something. And if you just open yourself to it, if you open yourself to the world around you, you'll be able to experience it in new ways. And so that's really the key. You, you, know, you can't force anything, and that's the same way in business and in life and 
in relationships. You can't force anything. You have to allow things to happen harmoniously. And so there's a focus on being clear. You have to have a clear mind. You have to be in a harmonious state of being. So you have to um, be in a calm, harmonious mind. You have to have a calm, harmonious mindset. And naturally, what you're looking for will arise out of you and speak. It'll speak to you as you interact with the world around you because nothing is separate. Everything is connected to each other. Everything is connected to everything else. And so your source of inspiration, as I've said before, is divinely inspired. And so when you experience those moments where something occurs and you think maybe that's a miracle in your mind, well, it is. And it's only your doubt or it's only your lack of vision that, that stops you from fully embracing it as such and then experiencing or understanding the difference that can come in your life or the change or transformation that can occur by your acknowledging that source of inspiration. Because when you when something happens outside of you, the inspiration comes from the inside while that, while that occurrence brings a harmony or a union together with between what you're thinking and experiencing and that's where the perfection of life shows itself in every moment that you have to be open to hearing you have to be open to listening for that and inspiration will come naturally and it won't stop so the beauty of that is that you are never you're never bored you're always inspired by what's happening around you you're always in tune with what's happening and rather than going off on a tangent and you know becoming frustrated because something's not happening your way or becoming uh upset with the occurrences you are divinely aligned with what's right in the moment and that's how you create enjoyment in life and so that the inspiration is so important because it allows you to enjoy life in every moment and that's really the key that's really the key to anything because if you're not enjoying now you're not going to enjoy tomorrow you're not going to enjoy you know you may say, oh, well, I didn't, I didn't have a good weekend or I didn't have a, you know, today was a, you know, this morning was terrible or yesterday or whatever. You can't drag the past around into now either because now is a completely new, um, a completely new clearing of possibility. So you have to be open to experience it in a new way. And that's really what inspiration is about. Inspiration leads you on your path and leads you to your destiny because when you follow moments of inspiration, you find new ways to connect with a different way of being that will serve you in better ways. The key to inspiration is understanding the possibility in this moment. As we talked about being in the moment, being in harmony in the moment, the real inspiration comes from understanding that anything is possible right now. For instance, you could be inspired by the fact that unprecedented financial prosperity is coming to the world. Un, you know, unprecedented economic opportunities are coming to the world and coming to both privileged and underprivileged people and all across the world in every country. And that, you know, the you could be inspired by the technology that has changed the face of business and, and given you new opportunities in your life. There's so many ways to be inspired, but the, the real true source of that inspiration is in the present moment. So we talked about being in the present moment, understanding how when you open your mind to the possibility of what's available now, you can have that inspiration. That inspiration is, is arising from within you from understanding the possibilities that exist in this very moment. So anything can happen. Anything can happen now if you're truly open to it. You know, but if you're thinking, oh, well, no, this is the way it is, well, you're right. That's the way it is. You know, Henry Ford said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. And it's very true because it all arises in your distinctions in your mind and your thinking and in your, your self-talk and your language because, what happens is you believe and your and your experience is shaped by what you think, uh, which is a product of what you believe. And so it's all very easy to understand. It's 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 simple, but it's you know it's it's not easy. It's easy to understand and conceptually it's very simple. 
but it's not easy. So you have to you have to figure out a way to clear your mind. It's not about it's not about thinking the right way. It's about not thinking the right way, or 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 turning off your precognition. You have to turn off the precognitive thoughts that are defining this moment based on past experiences or judgments that you're making about right now. So that's really what's stopping you from experiencing your life in, in, in fullness. And maybe you're already in that space and you are experiencing life in the, in the fullness and then you understand that you're already inspired. You, Everything around you is inspiring you. And if you're not in that place, that's what we want you to think about accessing. You, you want to access that place of non-judgment and pure, unobjective beingness in the present moment, in the now. You want to live in the now to experience the possibility to experience the possibilities that exist in your life that inspire you. And those inspirational moments in your life are the seeds of greatness within you. And the seeds of greatness within you have the ability to change the world. And it's not, and, and that's not to be taken lightly. You need to, you need to understand that when you become clear and you access those seeds of greatness that have been planted within you and you start to water them and they grow, you can impact the people around you in ways that you never even imagined. And the results are phenomenal. Imagine how many people are being inspired right now by this simple message. And the great part about that is that Nobody knows right now what the impact of that's going to be on any given person receiving the inspiration internally by by listening and clearing their listening in this moment. There's no conceivable way to understand the impact of that 20 years from now or 100 years from now or a millennia from now. Because if you inspire just one person the right way, they may change the world in unbelievable and unprecedented ways. Anything is possible. That's why it's so important to have an attitude of gratitude and living in the mindset of possibility, understanding anything is possible, but not just existing within the possibility, but existing within the inspiration that comes from that possibility. Because you never know what you can affect as a positive change 100 years from now in this moment, just by what you think, do, or say right now. It's so important that everybody understands the impact of every detail of their actions in this world is so crucial and so critical that, you know, the future might even depend on it. There's so many, you know, there's there may be great innovative innovation. There may be great innovations that come out of someone who was inspired and they invented a new way to provide sustainable energy or to, you know, to, they invent a the, uh, flying car or something that fundamentally changes the direction and what's possible for our our planet and life, human civilization and life in the future, because it's absolutely incredible the opportunity that we have being here and being alive right now. And that's a great source of inspiration in my life because I know what's possible if if I know what's possible when I just think that way. And when you understand that you're that you're important and you do make an impact and you do make a difference, you'll start using that as properly. Most people don't understand the impact that they have. And so when people, when you lack, when you lack, when, when a human being lacks inspiration, they don't do anything to inspire others. They act in uninspired ways and they don't contribute anything. And there's really no greatness that comes out of that. But if you act out of inspiration and you commit to being a high achiever and creating something and giving back, you know, you're really someone who understands the importance of living in the moment and having a grateful attitude and being willing to be open to the possibility that your inspiration can inspire someone else and ultimately change the world. You have no idea the impact of your inspired mindset on future generations. It could be it could be it could be unprecedented. There's no way to know, right? And if you can doubt, it's okay to say, "Well, you're not really sure." You can have a little bit of doubt. That's fine. That's natural. But it's not right. It's not. It's not true. It's, you can doubt yourself, but you have no idea what another person is thinking, who can really tune in and tap into the inspiration of living an inspired life and 
committing to making positive changes in the world and committing to doing something positive and giving back and helping society and helping humans grow and change in a way that will help us all adapt. We've never been at this point in history, and it's an amazing opportunity for us to get this right. And I think it really stems from the necessity of living inspired and not 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 for you. You're not living inspired for yourself. You're living inspired for other people and for the future generation. You're, you're living inspired and doing things that will change the world and have an impact on other people's lives. You're not going to be successful if you're only concerned about the impact in your own life. You have to you have to be concerned about the impact on the world at the large. You have to have an astronomical vision to serve the world. So inspiration is really a critical key component of getting aligned with the proper source of thinking. The proper source of thinking is clarity. When you're clear about what you're passionate about and what's important to you, there's no limit to there's no limit to who you can inspire and how inspired you can be in your own life. So I encourage you to be inspired and remain and remain in an open, harmonious, and to remain with the attitude of gratitude in an open and harmonious way so that you can receive the blessings that your inspiration will create for future generations because it truly is a gift to be able to share your value and your gift with the world. And to see the result of that, I think, is the ultimate blessing. And so we want to be able to teach people to understand what's important in their life and how they can find inspiration in every situation, not just the good situation, but every situation. So be aware of how you're thinking and the precognitive thoughts that you're thinking because there's a lot of limitations that might stop you. And sometimes you can be inspired by those limitations because it gives you a new way of being. What's the purpose of being inspired? Well, I believe that inspiration is serving the purpose of allowing you to find your destiny. It allows you to find your gift, to understand what you truly have to provide to this world that is a value, you need to understand what inspires you. There's a reason that the things inspire you do because there's some passion behind it and there's a passion behind what inspires you because there's a gift that you're meant to share with the world. So what inspires you? Think about what inspires you and think about what your gifts may be. Don't limit yourself to what you think your gift is. Be open to something entirely new or entirely different. This is important because we discussed the impact. Again, the impact of inspiring other people or sharing your gift. It's really about sharing your gift and providing value in the world. This creates success on astronomical levels because, let's face it, to get people to buy your product or service or to get someone to or to get someone to be in a relationship with you, to get anything you want in life, you have to come from a place of passion inspiration and positivity because if you don't those things are destined to fail you have to make sure that everything you do in your life has some real true authentic value thank you for joining us with strategic growth experts uh, check out the website strategicgrowthexperts.com all sorts of tips and tricks on living the best life uh, want to make sure that you all take the time to connect Get in touch with me if you need assistance, uh, being visible online, marketing your, your company, building a website. Go to strategicgrowthexperts.com and get in touch. Thanks for listening.